Hello, friends. We just about got the knife done. It's really been a fun project. Probably gonna make the case for it in the next uh, few videos, but uh, to end the video with the uh, knife, you gotta sharpen that knife. So uh, I'm gonna show you how I put that edge back on there. The whole entire edge right here was uh, had nicks in it. We actually filed uh, filed it flat. We came back in there. We're gonna file that edge back on there. The best that we can get it. We're just filing the uh, taking the stock off. So we get the edge where we want it out there. Oil. And all we want is an edge for uh, cutting meat. Because this is just a butcher knife. It's not a hunting knife. Just a butcher knife. So we just want to get an edge on there. That'll cut through that meat pretty, pretty nice for us there. And we're just going to switch over to a, a different home. Back and forth. We get that edge back on there. Yeah. I'm gonna finish it up with the uh, with the strop here. Spray a little bit of water on the leather strop. Water and oil, yeah. Water and oil don't make anything sharp. Yeah, just a little knife sharpening video. 
You gotta put the edge back on there, you know what I mean. It's gonna make a fine butcher knife. I don't have no doubt. I like to hold it right there on the edge and then uh, just kind of come through there like that. <laughs> Well, we got the edge on it, and uh, we think it's going to make a nice uh, butcher knife. I believe this is a Russell or a Dexter, or Russell Dexter. They may mass produce these knives by the millions. A lot of people on my channel think I just ruined a uh, historical knife, and uh, <laughs> but it's irreplaceable. He just ruined a, an antique knife. He just put all that on there. <clears throat> well, let me clear something up. This particular knife was made for butcher shops and slaughterhouses. I, again, I believe this is a Russell Dexter, and uh, they made them by the millions, tens of millions of them. Fortunately, this one wouldn't use that much. Most of them that come out of a slaughterhouse, the blade will have a groove from the uh, working it on the steel all day. They would sh keep sharpening them. They would have a groove would be like just a groove cut in it, but uh, it's a high carbon steel knife. Be easy to break this knife. You can strike a ferro rod with it as well. Okay, ferro rod. Um, let's give it a whirl here. High carbon, a lot of carbon in that blade, but uh, it's going to make a good knife. But what I need it for, let me say God bless to you. Thanks for coming by the channel and watching the video, and we'll catch you in the next one.